up everybody? I hit a hundred subscribers! Thanks for the support. Um, getting to a hundred subscribers, I guess. I never thought I would get that. Them in subscribers. That's a good feeling. Um, that's, a, that's the one thing I like about the motorcycle community. Is we support each other. Um, that, that's a big Pokemon spot. See, he's probably by like, there's like six Pokestops right here. Um, anyways. Um, the, the motorcycle community. Um, very supportive of, of each other. I love it, and I, I know there's always those stereotypes of like the the cruisers and the the Harley guys don't like the sports bikes guys, and I, I'm from Minnesota. I don't see that. Um, every time I give the bike away to to a cruiser uh, or some other sort of bike, they always give it back. And, and if they don't, I don't get all butt hurt about it because sometimes you don't see. I mean, there's times where someone gives me the bike wave and um you know I, I don't see till the very last moment and I, I throw it out and they, they're probably already riding along and you know going about their life not being butt hurt about not getting the biker wave um and you know another thing about the motorcycle community is if you if you're like you know, on the side of the road and your bike's messed up and you know someone gives you the, the thumbs up sign you know whether you give it you know back to them um, depending on what you do um, giving them a thumbs up a thumbs down depending on what you do you know they'll, they'll turn around or they'll go about their business if you give them a thumbs up they'll go about their business um, you know give them thumbs down they'll, they'll turn around come see what's wrong come give you a little hand you know that's one thing I like. I, I love about the, the community is that you know we are supportive of each other. And, you know, it is a smaller community because you, you see there's more cars on the roads than there is motorcycles. And that's fact. Everyone knows that. But it's something about being on two wheels, and you know it's something we all love, right? We we all love riding. So why not support each other? Why not? give each other a hand it doesn't hurt you know I believe in good karma or just at least like you know giving good vibes out being positive but being negative is draining you know I've seen people on mine you know I don't follow from followers well I guess I do because I want to be involved you know, I'm, I don't want to just follow those people that don't follow you back because how, how are you involved? You get to see their stuff, yeah, but, you know, they don't get to see your stories, your, your pictures, your videos. So that's not really being involved. I want to be involved. I want, to, I want comments. I want to comment back. I want, you know, that's, that's the community I want to be a part of, you know. And, and all the people that I've met lately, They've all been awesome, you know, giving good advice, um, and I'm talking about online, I got on YouTube and Instagram, um, they've all been awesome, they've all been supportive, and, and that's cool, and I, I'm willing to support too, because, you know, we all have to start somewhere, um, we, I mean, I don't think I put up the best videos, I'm, I'm a beginner as well, I'm, I'm learning the games, I'm learning the ropes, so... You know, I know how it's going. So if if someone wants for me to subscribe to their channel, I'll subscribe. You know, I'll watch a video. I'm not just gonna subscribe and and not watch your video. You know, I'll watch the videos. I like seeing everyone's point of view and you know where everyone comes from. I think it helps just helps with just being, you know, helping you be more cultured and have a better understanding of everything and just getting different points of views and stuff. Yeah, so I'm on my way to work right now, though, and, and I, I just changed subjects quick, so I don't know. I got an ADD style moto vlogging style, blah, blah, blah. My moto vlogging style is ADD-like. Let's put it that way, I guess. Um, 
I'll jump from topic to topic. I don't know how this thing, how we do this thing. Are there rules to it? You know, can I just do whatever I want to do? I mean, it is my video, right? So yeah. Um, I'm on my way to work. Um, taking the Parkway. Um, I could have taken uh, the highway, but you know, I don't know if you've seen my other video, my um review of my bike in rush hour it's not the most fun to stop and go it helps when you can ride to work because you know say if, you know when you wake up to work on a scale of one to ten it's a one but when you wake up to go riding on a scale of one to ten it's a ten so I'm somewhere in the middle right now because I have to go to work but at least I'm riding, so, you know, that, that helps. Um, and so I decided just to take the parkway today just because, you know, there's some turns. But, I mean, I can't take them fast or anything. Like, I'm going, what, 27 right now. Um, but just to do something other than going in a straight line. Oh, touch me in the ground. Oh. This is awesome that my, my channel is growing. Um, it's awesome that I, I'm, I'm meeting so many new uh, moto vloggers that are that are coming up. And and if, if any one of you guys make it big, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I was there from the beginning. <laughs> I was like his 10th subscriber, his 30th, his 50th. You know. That'd be awesome. It's kind of chilly too. But I think this is like perfect riding weather. Perfect riding weather because um, I got a perforated Alpine Stars um, leather jacket and it has this removable liner on the inside that I, I always have it off because, you know, I'm, I'm in Minnesota so we don't have too many riding months. So when it's cold, it's cold. I can I can put my that, that liner in, and I can ride, um, and, and it's bearable. Um, but in the summer, I definitely have to take it off because this is just extremely hot. I hope I'm not going to be late because I left around the same time. But I, I took the parkway, so I think we can speed a little bit. Just don't tell anybody. Don't. That just sounded creepy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I like riding to work. It wakes me up. It wakes me up in the morning. Because you got to be alert. You know? When I drive to work, I'm like, uh, I'm like zombie mode. And, you know, I can function enough to drive. But on, on a bike, you have to... Especially a sports bike, you have to kind of... You have to be very alert. You know, you're, a lot of your body movements involved, and and you're, you know, you're shifting, you're doing all that stuff. You're looking, checking your blind spots. So you're, you're very active when you're riding. And so it wakes me up, gets my day going right. I'm pumped. I'm not so miserable in the morning. It's not a drag. I think I'm making a good pace. 7.40, I gotta be at work at 8, it's not bad, not too far, no way, and I get this lovely scenic view, Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes, we got way more than 10,000 lakes, we got like a bajillion. If you guys watch my other videos, yeah, you'll, you'll definitely notice that I, I always ride this road, this parkway. I think everybody does. It's so scenic, it's nice. Um, I mean, you can't go fast, but shit, you don't always have to go fast. I got, you know, it's so, um, there's so many people around, you really, you know, if you want to go fast, definitely don't come over here. That'd just be stupid. You know, 
I, I got my spots where when I want to hit my the twisties and be a hooligan and all that stuff, I, I have my spots. It's just, this is definitely not one of them. This is just when I want to cruise, enjoy the view. Crosswalks everywhere, so you really can't go fast. You got to pay attention. And this goes back to me waking up, you know. And I'm usually not this talkative in the morning, like, wow. Like, I guess you put a camera on, and I'm like, ah, oh, you're on, start talking. Uh, another rider, see? He knows what's up. There you go, see? He gave me the head nod and everything. And I, at first, I wasn't paying attention. He might have thought I was a douchebag. But no, we're from Minnesota, nice. We understand. It's all good. Shit happens. And this is back to my ADD style motor vlogging, I guess. You can't always give the bike away back. I mean, sometimes you have your hand on the clutch. Um, you know, you're slowing down or something. Let's go, light. We got 13 minutes plus a five minute grace period. So, should be fine, hopefully. Oh, my bike is starting to warm up. It feels so good. I'm, oh, it feels so good in between my legs. I just want to squeeze it with my thighs. Ah, all these stoplights. This motor vlogging thing is harder than it looks. Man. And it's, sometimes it's hard to keep talking because you're so focused on, on, on riding, you know? It's like, man. Like, you're thinking the stuff in your head, but you're not, you're not saying it. It's, and, and I'm starting to get used to that where I can just continue to just talk and talk and then edit out the stuff that makes me sound really stupid and the public will never see that it's fun doing this I like it you know I can see why a lot of a lot of other people are, are getting into it because you know it's a lot better than just going on on Facebook or something and putting up a status uh, you know an, uh, whatever a post putting up a post I went for a bike ride and this happened, this happened where, you know, we can capture it. Look at all the riders. I've seen like three of them now. They know what's going on. And he was the only one that followed the law. Look, at they're all turning into the wrong lane. And he was the only one that turned into the, the correct lane. Look at another one. And I'm definitely no saint. But I'm just saying. You know, the all, motorcycle riders are always scrutinized. They always think we're like speeding along and popping wheelies and stuff. And you know some of us do. You know, and there's times, there's a time and place for it. Because, you know, obviously we, we ride to have fun, but there's that, that image of, that people have of, of riders that sometimes it can be negative. There's always uh, a few rotten apples that, that spoil the barrel, but Otherwise, it's, um, I think we have a very awesome community. I mean, I'm going to keep saying that because I, I really believe that. Well, it's, I don't know. I, I hope you enjoyed my, um, my video here, jumping from topic to topic to I don't even know what I was talking about. Um, I mostly was probably rambling. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Um, you know, comment. Um, if you want me to check out your channel, just comment. I'll check out. I'll subscribe. You know, return the favor. Do all that stuff. Um, you know, follow me on Instagram. I'm on there all the time. I just recently uh, got temporarily, um, I don't know, restricted, I guess you'd say, because I, I was showing so much love. Uh, like it was tough because I was going through the hashtag motorcycle hashtag and I was like oh I like that motorcycle and I like that motorcycle and I literally did that for like I don't know I don't know how long I was doing that for I guess it's a limit of 300 an hour which is what I, I googled and so I must have hit 300 and, and less than an hour I checked this morning I'm, I'm, I'm fine now um, I can I can show some love now 
my restrictions off, so that's awesome. Again, thanks for the to all my hundred subscribers. I'll keep trying to put uh, out quality content. You know, I'm, I'll admit my videos aren't the best quality wise, and, but I'm trying to get better. You know, if you have any advice or anything, comment. Do you have any um, anything I want you want me to talk about? Leave a comment. You know, I, I don't. Sometimes I don't have any ideas of what I should do, so leave a comment. Uh, I'll try to work on it. Thanks for watching. You guys all have a good day. Be safe out there.